Hello and welcome to The Point. I'm Ouyang Qi in Beijing. Each time we take a journey through the speeches and commentaries of Chinese President Xi Jinping, we hope by helping you understand the Chinese leader's thought, you'll get a better grasp of China in the new era. In this edition, we'll dive into Xi Jinping's keynote speech at the just-concluded APEC CEO Summit in Papua New Guinea. Just as on many similar occasions, Xi Jinping likes using vivid but simple metaphors that most audiences can easily relate to, so that his point is not only understood, but also remembered. Now I want you to take a look at this case in point at the very end of the speech. Xi described what came to his mind when he's about to get on the cruise liner, the host of venue for the APAC summit. I was looking at the vast ocean when I boarded the ship, and it struck me that we are all indeed fellow passengers in the same boat. He then went on to say that let us keep the steering wheel steady and pedal in the right direction so that the ship of the global economy will brave winds, break waves, and sail to a brighter future. This same boat metaphor is in line with the theme of Xi's signature aspiration of building a community of shared future for humanity. He actually used this boat and waters imagery throughout the whole speech to speak for regional economic integration and globalization and against protectionism and unilateralism. Here's another. As we brave the rough waters of the global economy and confront the many risks and challenges, it's all too befitting that we have come together on this ship to chart the course for future development and cooperation. As we have found, this notion is quite well received by participants. One delegate commented that President Xi's speech was truly inspiring and focused on the future of prosperity shared by all. Another says the speech is a good dose of medicine against the current global situation plagued by productionism and unilateralism. At this year's APAC, Xi Jinping promised China will embrace the world more on the legacy of its 40 years of reform and opening up. China is matching its words with concrete actions with a recent import expo in Shanghai and a second Belt and Road Forum next April. The world benefits as China delivers on the president's pledges to further expand market access, strengthen IPR production, do more to increase imports, and treat all companies, both Chinese and foreign, as equals. In the meantime, we'll keep on interpreting Xi Jinping and China for you. And that wraps up this edition of The Point. We'll see you next time.